so good. Oh my gosh. You ready to head back to the 90s for some music? Yes, of course. I am. <laughs> I'm ready. I've done a few of these. I, I really like 90s music. 90s music is really cool just because of the fact that it's so diverse. There's no like norm in music. It just kind of seems like, I mean, I wasn't alive then, but from what I can hear in like the music taste back then, it seemed like everybody was just going for their own thing. I always listen to R&B 90s music and I just did a 2000s episode. So yeah, we'll see how I do. Country? I'm not sure. Oh yeah. There's the chorus. Nope. <laughs> there was so much more emotion in songs it feels like back then. Happy. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just had the biggest sense of nostalgia ever. I remember singing this song out loud all the time. All right, do you know that one? No, I don't. I've never heard that song in my whole life. I've never heard this song before. Yeah, I know the song. I don't know who it's by. So this one's called If It Makes You Happy and it's by Cheryl Crow. Never heard of her. Cheryl Crow. I don't think I've ever listened to Cheryl Crow. This song's inspiration was actually around the pressure to follow up after the massive success of her first album. That makes sense. It's like, how are you gonna outdo yourself? It really sucks. Obviously, I feel like if you put yourself in their shoes, having to follow up on that, it's a lot of pressure. That if I was the artist, I would be like, oh gosh, I don't even know if I want to release a second album. This is such a good song. Oh, oh. This is like if I'm shopping at Old Navy. Okay. Yeah. I hear this song all the time. This is so good. Thank you so much for playing that. Everyone's gonna be like, oh my god, I can't believe she doesn't know this song. Because it's like a classic. Do you know this one? I do not. It's the Google Dolls, but the song is uh I always mess up on the title of this song. Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls. This is called Iris and it's by the Goo Goo Dolls. Iris, yes. I love the song. It's so weird how like I know that song, but I don't. Actually, my mom used to listen to them a lot. So I should. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. I love this song. Oh my gosh, I can like picture the music video. I've heard this one too, but like <laughs> the only reason I know it is because of Justin Bieber's song. It's so poppy. It sounds like something you would walk into the hair salon in. <sighs> You're confusing me today. Do you know this one? I do not. Love Me. I want to say it's by Aqua probably. It's... Love Fool. I want to say it's Cindy something, but that really, that's not, that's just not right. This one's called Love Fool, and it's by the Cardigans. Cardigans, the as card in the sweater. I really like that name, that's a good one. The Cardigans. I like it. I could actually see myself dancing to that. The car, oh my god. I played this song in a show, and I couldn't remember the Cardigans. Baby crying in the back. Hmm. It's probably not Destiny's Child, but I feel like it's Destiny's Child. I don't know. It sounds really, really good, but I don't think I've ever heard this song before. Say yes or say no, cause I don't need somebody. Tell me that 
that somebody. Oh, I love her. R.I.P. to the baby girl. I miss her. And do you know it? Nope. No. Mm -mm. Is it Somebody by Aaliyah? Yes, yeah, Somebody by Aaliyah. Oh my god, I love her. This one is called Are You That Somebody, and it's by Aaliyah. Oh! Oh yes, Aaliyah. Oh. Is it not a band? And this whole time I was like, oh yeah, this is this is definitely like a 90s girl band. Rest in peace. I know she made the song Rock the Boat, and that song is legendary. According to Adam Levine, listening to this song persuaded him to pursue a more soulful sound in his music. You can hear Aaliyah's influence on the early Maroon 5 track, Not Coming Home. Yeah, you can actually. I didn't know it was because of Aaliyah. Wow. Aaliyah has such an influence on people, and I love it. It's cool that even though it's not the same genre as Aaliyah or something, it's, uh, they're still being influenced by it. I like when artists do that. It's like an homage to them. Closing time. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. It's a good song. I know who I want. I like this. I've heard this before. I don't know who it is though. Sad, man. I feel bad. Do you know it? No. I think it's called Take Me Home. Probably wrong though. This is Closing Time by Semisonic. Closing Time by Semisonic? This one's called Closing Time. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> and it's by Semisonic. Okay, don't know who that is. Even though I don't know it, I like it. I'll probably listen to it. I've heard this song a lot. Like, especially when I was playing in bands or whenever I was at venues, they would always like play that song in the background before or after shows. <laughs> it's something I would listen to now. I have nothing on this. I feel so uncultured. I don't know any of these songs. Who is this? Wow. That was poetic. Yeah, I like that song. Do you know it? Nope. I do not. I don't even have a guess. So this one's called Six Underground and it's by Sneaker Pimps. Sneaker Pimps? I have no clue. <laughs> uh, these artist names. Out of all of them so far, this one's like definitely my favorite. It has that very like different sound, and I really like that when I'm like listening to music to find something that's like different than what everyone else is doing. This one had like a very different vibe to it. See the montage in, uh, in Armageddon right now. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Who oh, is this? Oh my god! This is a boy band, yes? I love that song. Do you know this one? No. I was thinking Elton John, but it's not Elton John. He has a different voice. I think it's Don't Wanna Miss a Thing, but I don't know the artist. That is, uh, I Don't Wanna Miss a Thing by Aerosmith. This is Don't Wanna Miss a Thing. Don't Miss a Thing. And it's by Aerosmith. Never heard of them. I'm kidding, of course I've heard of Aerosmith. It does not sound like Aerosmith. That makes a lot more sense now. I hear like the raspy thing in his voice. No freaking way! Why am I so used to like their older songs where it's just hit you, punch you in the face? And it was nice because I've never heard them before so it's like a fresh new sound that I got to hear. It sucks I didn't know them but I'm sure I'll Google them when I get home and listen to a few of them again. Thanks for watching Do They Know It on the React channel. What's your 90s jam? Let us know in the comments. Bye guys. What's up guys, Alyssa here, a producer from the React channel. Thanks so much for watching and if you don't wanna miss a thing, subscribe.